Hi there, my name's Lisa and I'm a midwife who's been qualified for just over four years now. I work at a teaching hospital who has student midwives working alongside us for the majority of our shifts. Uh, one of the things I'd like to see changed in midwifery care and care for staff is the way that we train our midwives in third year or if they're already nurse trained then obviously they're towards the end of their training. Um, I'd like to see them given back some autonomy and responsibility in the third year to prepare them for when they become newly qualified midwives. I feel like a lot of the attrition rates are to do with the fact that as newly qualified, they're really ill prepared for the level of responsibility and the level of stress that's involved in being a newly qualified midwife. There's a lot of things that um, come to the fold when we talk to newly qualifieds about their stress levels, about what worries them, about what they find difficult in that first year. And it's to do with the fact that they are ill prepared for the level of responsibility. I feel like we need to change this. This needs to be where we empower student midwives to be newly qualified midwives. We need to instill that empowerment in them, make them aware and believe in themselves because if we don't do that, then we're basically sending out a workforce of broken midwives before they've even started. I speak from experience in that my first year as a qualified midwife was horrendous. Um, I wanted to walk away from a career that I'd wanted for so, so long because the level of responsibility and the level of stress and anxiety that that brought with it was just too much to bear. And I feel like this was contributed by the fact that I didn't have any autonomous practice as a third year mid a student midwife. I didn't have that time to build my own confidence and my own autonomy and my own way of doing things. So you're basically just mimicking how your mentor works because if you don't mimic how they work, then it's it's not right or you know they don't they don't see it as you finding your own feet. They see it as well. That's not how I do things. Whereas distant supervision would allow that student midwife to gain that confidence that she is going to need fundamentally as a newly qualified midwife. I then feel that we need to really be implementing structured preceptorship programmes for these newly qualified midwives to carry through almost like a fourth year degree. So you're still given that support that you would be as a student just from a very wider distance, knowing that you have a structured program of when you gain your skills, your um, postgraduate skills, your cannulation and all of that kind of stuff. But also that you have that support network there for those times and those shifts where you feel completely overwhelmed. Somewhere you can go to that you can have these conversations in confidence that you're not going to be judged because it is a normal process. It's a normal thing to feel this anxious, to feel these overwhelming worries, but actually to be supported and guided through that process would have a huge positive impact on these newly qualified midwives. It starts from students and carries through. That is my passion and that is the major thing that I think we need to change in midwifery um, training and in that first year some people may need longer than one year we need to adapt the preceptorship to each individual um, newly qualified midwife but essentially they need more structured support and we have a responsibility to provide that for them